Hey, it's Andrew Huang, and welcome to another episode of Weird Gear. Weird Gear! focus on an acoustic rather than an electronic instrument this time, and I found the perfect thing when I stumbled upon the Sansula. This is made by a company called Hokima. It's in the Kalimba family, if you're familiar with Kalimbas, but it's a little bit weird. Let me show you why. First though, let me say thanks to Reverb for sponsoring. It's the best place to buy or sell anything musical online. They've also got a really handy app. So a few years ago, I fell in love with Kalimbas, and I wanted to start a collection, and uh, I collected a grand total of one. I got this in Hawaii, as you can see from it saying Hawaii on it. Kalimbas though are African in origin and they essentially consist of these metal tines that are affixed to some kind of resonant cavity. And you just play them with your thumbs like that. They're also called thumb pianos sometimes. There were two things that attracted me to Kalimbas. The first is the sound. There's something kind of rough but pleasing about it. I just really like that ringing metal bit of a buzz sometimes. And there's a really broad range of these kinds of qualities because for the longest time there was no standardization about the shape or size of kalimbas or the materials that they could be made out of. And along with that, there was no standardization of the tuning. Like some of the intervals on this one that I have are microtonal. And I like the idea that each one could be quite unique because they'd have their own quirks with the tuning and the exact sound of each tine. Nowadays though, we're seeing a lot of companies make more standardized kalimbas and one of them is the Hokima Sansula. So these are mass produced now, these tines are very highly engineered and the sound is much more uniform and it's beautiful. So here are the couple weird things about it. Number one, the tuning. From low to high, we have A, C, E, F, A, A, B, C, E, which are a whole bunch of nice notes from A minor, but not all of the notes from A minor. We're missing the fourth and the seventh. And then I don't know if you noticed, but there are two high A's. This one and this one. And I cannot figure out why they would put two of the same notes on this instrument, especially an instrument that's already lacking in notes. And the two notes are so close together, like, they would be played by the same finger. Maybe it would make sense if it's a note you want to use a lot that the other thumb could get to it, but... Weird. And here's the main weird thing, and this is what sold me on getting a Sansula. It's a kalimba affixed to a drum head. But you're not meant necessarily to play it like a drum. It just resonates a lot more in this cavity, which lets you do this. You can do filter sweeps by shaking it around. Cross a woman and a sheep With a tongue between my teeth I'm at 33,000 feet again I've been chasing down a light A horizon brings the night And there's no use trying to fight
Links in the description if you want full versions of any of that music. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks again to Reverb for sponsoring. Check them out at Reverb.com or use the Reverb app. I'll see you next time. Beep.